So I found another sitting pose that's got a nice victory animation to it and uh, also the beginning pose there is good so if we have it just set to no animation we can just drag that in as it is we won't really need to change the pose. You can see the rig's a bit weird here when he does the victory the arm tucks in loads but you know for the fact that we've really just spent two minutes getting all this together um, it's, it's pretty it's pretty good. So I'm going to download that one as well. And this will be downloaded with exactly the same uh, skeleton. You can just swap out the animation. So that's really nice. Back in Unreal. Import this again. So to get this hooked up to your actor, go into Edit Blueprint. Open Blueprint Editor. Uh, go in Viewport. So we basically just want this head to be plonked down into Optimus Prime instead of this mesh that we've got here. So I'm going to be ruthless and just delete these. So that can all be deleted, that's fine. The face is is a child of the body. So with these hands and stuff, we don't want to delete the skeletal mesh, but we can press this yellow arrow in the skeletal mesh option to just set that to none. Now we've got a floating head, lovely. And you can find the name of our Thomas, which is currently called Sitting Disbelief. I'm going to rename that because that's just the name of the animation, but this is the Skeletal Mesh. Let's go for Sitting Victory, rename that Prime Armor. Or we can drag from here into the body. Cool, so let's drag this in as a child of the body, which is what we want. Uh, compile and save that. It's always spamming compile and save is the way. Uh, obviously you want to scale it down so you can hit that or you can keep pressing spacebar until you get to the scale option. Uh, you can only go so far with the scaling so if you want to get more precise with it you can turn off the snapping. Uh, that's the snapping for the scaling. This is looking good. <laughs> okay hit spacebar again move him down a little bit. <laughs> Beautiful. Control, spam that control S just to keep your work saved. Compile that. That was how to get your head onto a model. But uh, next we're going to actually attach it to the model so that wherever the model moves, the head will move with it. Um, and in the next video is also a small tip about uh, sometimes your textures come in, they need to be changed to two-sided or else they won't show up on the back side, it's called back face culling. So we're gonna go into a quick tip to fix that too. So catch you in that one, cheers.